Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can add the Stripe payment details into Airtable base automatically. For that, guys, you can see we have connected Stripe payment gateway as a trigger application and Airtable as the action application inside the automation workflow. And after that, whenever you are going to receive any payment through Stripe, the details of the payment will be added into a table in Airtable's base automatically. And to set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And we can set up this automation very easily without any coding. So let's start. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect, guys. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations, okay? So we have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, guys, uh, you can set up your account and you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the Pabli Connect product and you will see the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this, okay? And guys, here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automations and here you can give any suitable name to the workflows as well so i am giving the name here as stripe to a table okay so after giving the name just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here and on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these things, you can set up any automation. So guys, in the trigger, you have to connect the trigger application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So the trigger event is the event which is going to start this workflow. And the action would be the consequence of the trigger or the response towards the trigger. So in our use case, Stripe will act as the trigger application and uh, a table as the action application so here let's connect with stripe search for stripe here select it and here it is asking for the trigger event so the trigger event would be capturing of a uh, capturing of a new payment through stripe so here you will find this new charge option so this is going to trigger when someone's credit card is charged so select new charge option and it will give you this web hook url so with the help of this we can make a connection with stripe and after that, we can capture the response of that webhook connection. Okay, so you need to follow the instructions written here to make this connection. Let me show you directly how you can do that. So this is my Stripe applications dashboard and I'm under, uh, you know, the test data, sorry, test mode. And here you can see uh, I have this developer shop, developers option available on the top right. Click on developers. And here you can see on the left hand side, we have this webhooks option click on it and here you have to click on this add endpoint button okay and you will find this endpoint url field here you have to paste the webhook url that you got in your workflow so go back to the workflow then click on copy and copy the url and paste it here in this endpoint url field like this here you can provide a description to the connection as well after that yeah, here you can see it is asking listen to events on your account okay yes and this is the version here you have to click on this select events button and here guys you have to select the event on which you want to send the data from stripe to your workflow so here you can see we have this charge option when you click on it you will find this charge captured failed pending refunded here you have to check this charge dot succeeded option okay click on charge dot succeeded then click on add events okay and then click on add endpoint so this new endpoint will be added like this here okay so we have added a new endpoint now guys here you can see as a, as we have copied this webhook url it started showing waiting for the webhooks response here so this means guys now we can perform a test submission so test submission means we are going to create a test payment using a payment link of stripes and the data of that payment will be captured here as the test data and with the help of that we are going to move forward okay so i'm going back to my stripes dashboard and here you can see i have some products created so i'm clicking on products and uh, we have this pabli plus plan product okay and i have a payment link created for this this is the payment link so i'm going to uh, open the payment link let me open it in a new tab 
Okay, so this is the payment page I have created with the help of Stripe. Okay, and here let's uh, do a test payment. So here I'm putting the details of uh, a customer. So th the email ID of the person is test. So guys, I have filled in these details of a test customer. Okay, and here I'm clicking on subscribe and I'm going to make our test payment here. This is not an original payment. We have used the test card details here. And you can see here you can see that it is showing up. Thanks for subscribing. And this is the payment that has been done with the help of our test card details. Okay. So let's see in our workflow if we got the details captured of this test payment. And here you can see guys, the details are here and here it is showing the uh, event details. And here you can see the amount got captured like this, but here you can see uh, the amount that was actually charged was 35,000. But here it is showing uh, 3 lakh 50 thousand something with two extra zeros actually. Okay, so we have uh, our workflow captured two extra zeros up after this decimal point. Okay, so it is showing up here. So we can change this data afterwards. Here you can see the customer details are here. Customer ID is here. And all other details of the card related things are here. Okay, that's how we can capture the test data. Now guys to uh, change the to correct this payment details that we have captured here, we are going to use a feature of Parly Connect in the action step. Okay, so here we got these two extra zeros. So here I'm going to click on this. Oh, sorry, here I'm going to use this action step. And in this action step, guys, I'm going to search for number formatter feature of Parly Connect. Here is number formatter. Okay, and in the action events, I'm going to use this perform math operation. Then click on connect. And here it is asking for the numbers on which you want to perform any mathematical operation. So guys, I'm going to map these uh, this amount label here in this field. So to do that, just click here and it, it will show you the previous step here in the drop down like this. And when you click on it, it will show up the data from here, guys, map the amount, then put a comma and put 100 here. Okay. And here in this operation, I'm going to select divide option. So what it will do, it will divide this number from 100. So the two extra zeros will be removed. So here I'm clicking on save and send test request. And here is the result we got and this is the corrected amount of the payment. Okay. Now guys, I want to add the payment details into my Airtable base here like this. Here I want to place the name of the customer, the customer's ID, the value of the uh, deal uh, or the object product the email ID okay these are the things that I want to save here for that you just have to click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up here you can connect with Airtable so search for Airtable here and in the action event select create record option then click on connect from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the API token of a table that you'll find the account section of a table so you can see the account section from this profile icon here is the account section and when you scroll down here you will find this api key like this you just have to open it copy it and paste it here in the token field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with a table okay so you can see we are connected and here it is asking for the base id so my base's name is this stripe payment details so you have to search for your base from this list so i'm typing stripe here it is selected okay right and the table is table one i have only one table here named as table one so it got auto selected here like this and here it is showing up the name the customer id the value the email id fields so these are the uh, headers of the columns that i have here it is showing up here so to get the data filled, you need to map the details of these values here only in your workflow. And we are going to use the test data that we have received in the previous steps in the trigger step. And I'm going to map the things here. So you just have to click here and it will show up the tr uh, trigger and the previous steps in the drop down. So from this uh, first trigger step, I'm going to map the name of the customer in the name field. So you will find the name here like this in the name label, just map it. For the customer ID, use the same process and find the customer ID. So 
when you scroll down here you will find the customer id in this data object customer label map this label here then in the value map the value not from the first step but from the second step where we have corrected the value that we got so from the second step map this result label in the value section value field and for the email id use the first step only this is the email label map it so when you map the labels here like this with every new execution of the workflow that means whenever new payment is captured through stripe this workflow is going to trigger and the labels are going to change and new data will be filled here in your Airtable base automatically okay so guys let us check our connection with Airtable here i'm going to click on save and send test request and this this data that we have mapped here is going to be added as a new row here in this table let us see here i am clicking on save and send test request so this is the response we have received let's check in Airtable if we got the data added and here you can see guys a new row is added here automatically like this okay with the same details test customer customer id value email address and all the things so these are the things this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually here after that whenever you are going to receive any payment using stripe you will find the payment details getting added here in new rows automatically and the workflow is going to run in the background okay and you can use this workflow as well because i'm going to paste it in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel